Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. Did I say, hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching, or did I forget? Anyway, uh, bread and butter. So items that sold for $25 or less that um, you can typically buy low and sell high. These are items that I've picked up at garage sales, thrift stores, uh, state sales, places like that. Um, but yeah, they're lower margin items, but still really good profit margins. So bread and butter may not be the big money bolos, but it all adds up. And actually this is like, I would say one of my best little series on my channel. People love my bread and butter videos. I think it's because the items are easier to find and the profits are still really good. So we are gonna get started. I'm gonna pull up the screen and show you what I got. All right, here we go. The first item, I picked this up at a garage sale for, I wanna say it was $2, yeah, cause it's an Avon Barbie. And I was like, Avon Barbie, but it's new in the box. I'm just gonna try it. And I sold her for $20 plus shipping. So that was pretty cool. Okay, these Speary Top Cider shoes. And I've told you guys before, like I go to garage sales and I bundle kids clothes. I love bundling kids clothes. And I just wanna make sure I've got the screen share up because I'm super paranoid now because the other day at the end of the video, I forgot to put the screen share back up and everybody's like, we can't see the doll in the comments. And I'm like, ah. So um, yeah, you'll see me check it all the time now. So these are Speary toddler shoes. They came from a garage sale and they were still new and had the original like little uh, tag thing on them. I don't remember what I paid for them. I think probably three bucks, but I'm, pr I'm pretty certain. Yeah, these were a garage sale. And I think maybe I bundled if I remember correctly. So yeah, Speary's a great, um, great item to sell. I sold these for $22. Uh, plus shipping. So the next item is this Just Dance 2016 uh, Xbox 360 Connect. Okay, so I got this at Toys R Us, and I'm going to tell you right now like, I have not done well with my Toys R Us retail arbitrage. I'm going to call it a fail. Okay, I shouldn't call it a fail. I've still made money, but the things, they're not moving very fast, you know? So this is something you can see they had it for $29.99. So I paid $3 for this because I got it at 90% off. And I'm like, 90% off, three bucks? Like I should be able to make a profit, but I have been sitting on this since Toys R Us closed. So um, people are locked down in their homes and they're buying this type of item. And I had it at $13.20 and two of them sold like in the same week. So I think it was the same week. Maybe it was, a, well, it's all since lockdown. So yeah, I was happy to see them go. Did I make a huge profit? No, definitely a bread and butter item, but $13.20 plus shipping, sold two of them, paid three bucks each. So I'll take it. I'm happy, I'm happy they're leaving. The next item is this vintage Barbie dress. It's red and blue. It's called Fancy Free. It is tagged and um, it's got the black label tag. I sold this for $19.36. Since this came in a vintage Barbie haul that I got from a thrift store and there were actually two of them in there. So I have another one listed. If anyone is interested, I have one to go. The next item, and I always link my eBay store, my posh closet and my Mercari store down in the description of the video. So you guys are welcome to check it out. If you wanna support the channel and make an offer on something, that would be awesome. Just please let me know that you watch the channel in your offer because um, I like to know when my subscribers are buying. It helps me negotiate and I appreciate all of you so much. So definitely, uh, definitely like if it's an eBay offer and I think on Poshmark, you can put it in a bundle and just say, hey, I watch your channel. Can I make this offer? And if I've got the margins, I will definitely work with you guys. Uh, this is a Build-A-Bear bunny rabbit and I picked this up at a garage sale for like a buck and I sat on it a long time, I gotta say, but it's not really anything too special. It's just kind of a plain bunny and it only had on shorts. So the ones with clothes, I actually have a video on Build-A-Bear uh, bolos. There's some that go for really good money and there's a lot that are bread and butter, but I took a $13 offer on this 
and I was just very happy for it to go. I think somebody probably bought this for an Easter basket. I think it sold uh, before Easter. This item is an Atlas Mason jar with a master oil spout. Um, it's a pourer and it sold for the sale price of $16 and 20 cents. And the buyer paid the shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale. I, I had a couple bucks in it. It was a bulk buy. Uh, I bought this and then some other ones and some uh, beer taps. I've had it for a while. It did not move quickly. I had um, a set that was in better condition that was definitely a bolo and it sold for more and much quicker. All right, another one of my Bratz dolls sold. And again, if you guys missed the video, I had a bunch of these lotted in a large lot and I broke them down and I'm selling them individually and I'm making more money that way. Definitely go check out that video. Um, this is a 2001 Bratz doll. I've sold a bunch on Mercari. This one sold on eBay for $13.50 plus shipping. She has no clothes and her hair's a little messy and she's still sold for $13.50. The next item is this little Kittles doll. This one sold for best offer of $20 plus shipping. Most of my little Kittles have sold on Mercari. Like one person just kept buying my little Kittles. Like over a month, he'd pick up like one or two. Um, but this one, somebody grabbed it on eBay. I sold it for $20 plus shipping. I don't think this one was with my thrift store um, haul. I think this one was a garage sale. So I probably had like 50 cents in it but look how cute it is. It's in great condition. So $20 plus shipping for that teeny tiny doll. The next item is this covered wagon model. Uh, I got this at a garage sale. It was a huge bulk buy. I don't know if you guys remember that game that I bought, that um, Monjong game that I sold for crazy money. If you haven't seen that video, it's like when you go into my YouTube channel, it's like my main video, but it's in that video. But I sold this uh, for $18 plus shipping. It was that same sale bulk buy, probably had 50 cents in it. And I really didn't think it was going to sell. So it may be like one of those things like puzzles, kits, different things are just selling right now. Okay, these Victoria's Secret athletic pants. I picked these up at a garage sale for a buck. I always pick up the Victoria's Secret or the pink pants that are athletic like this. They do really well. I sold these for a best offer of 15 plus shipping. The melting pot. Okay, so this came with a lot of jewelry beads that I purchased from a garage sale. So I probably have 25 cents in it. It sold for full asking price of $18 plus shipping. So it's a melting pot. So you put the glue in there and it melts it. Like here's the glue stick. It sticks down in that hole. I've never seen anything like it. But hey, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool idea. And this is a very low bread and butter. Okay, it's a low dollar item, big bread and butter item right here. I sold this card for $5 plus shipping. So they were all in at like eight, nine bucks um, because I, I don't ship, um, I ship it first class so that I can attach tracking to it. And I put like it between cardboard and bubble wrap and all of that stuff. I do, you know, ship it kind of fancy because I feel like if they're paying $5 for a card, they want to use it for something. And it's got the glitter on it. It's a pretty card, but I took a best offer of $5 plus shipping. There are people that have whole stores dedicated to like vintage cards and it's a lot of bread and butter, but they're so easy to list. I mean, you basically throw a title up there and take a few pictures and you're done. The next item is this topsy turvy. Uh, it's like a as seen on TV. And uh, I love as seen on TV items. I always pick them up at garage sales. And I took a best offer of 15 on these plus shipping. And it see, it's like a planter thing. <laughs> I'm guessing they're probably going to have to get new seeds because it is definitely vintage. The next item is this vintage bandana. Again, I just had to share this with you guys. I picked it in, up in a lot of garage sale stuff. I think it's like a handkerchief that somebody has turned into like a bandana scarf top or you could wear it on your head. I'm not even really sure. But the person messaged me and was so excited to get this item. They've been looking for it. I think it's handmade. I have no idea. But it sold for $8.10 plus shipping. Sometimes like if I'm just in the mood, I'll throw up weird things like this. 
throw up, I'll throw up. I will put things like this on eBay or other platforms just to see if I can move them, you know? And it's like these items that make people happy. And I'm so glad I listed it now. The next item are these uh, My First Smart Pad Disney Princess Educational Learning Tools. I took a best offer of 15 plus shipping. I picked this up for like a buck or two at a garage sale. This little Anna Lee nurse, um, I sold this for $11.20. I took a best offer. You know, I figured it was for a nurse, like a nurse was buying it or it was going to be a gift for a nurse. And, you know, they're out there on the front lines helping us get through this craziness right now. And I was like, yes, I will take your $11.20 offer plus shipping. And I sold it. So thank you to all the nurses and doctors and everybody out there that's still working. You know, it's not just nurses and doctors. There's so many people that are out there just still plugging away and, you know, trying to keep the world going, you know? So the next item, the post office, another big one. You guys go check out Joey Bada Bing 22. He is a mailman and he has a YouTube channel. He is a reseller. Go check him out. Show him some support. He's out there delivering mail. Um, I feel like it's the least we can do is go subscribe to his channel and his channel is awesome. So Joey Bada Bing 22. Go check him out. Okay. These locks I bought at a garage sale. It was a bulk buy. So probably 50 cents in them. I took a best offer of $9.99 and they are ACE vending machine keys. So I just looked up what they said on them and that's how I figured it out. Not a big bolo, but definitely a great bread and butter item and the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item is this St. John vintage parfum and Eau de Parfum. So Everybody, I asked how to say E A U, and everybody was like, it's pronounced O. So, am I saying it right? O de parfum. Par wait, ah, O de parfum. Did I do it right? <laughs> Comment below, just correct me. But anyway, this came from my vintage uh, perfume haul from the thrift store. I think by the time I broke it all down, it was like less than 50 cents. I don't know. It was crazy. It was a great buy. So uh, $22 plus shipping for this item. And you do have to ship perfume ground. And I know I tell you guys that every single time, but you never know when there's somebody new that's watching that maybe doesn't know that, but perfume does have to ship ground. So it's a little bit more pricey to ship. Um, these costume jewelry stretch bracelets came from my bulk buy. I took, um, I sold them for 20 bucks and the buyer paid shipping. This little 2006 trading pin, um, it's Chippendale and they're in cotton candy. And this sold for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. This came from a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of Disney pins, so probably 25 cents in it. These are nom, nom, num noms and they're motorized like little things, toys. And I picked these up at a garage sale. It was a bulk buy, so I probably got a buck or less in them. And I took a best offer of $14 plus shipping. This item, uh, Miss Julia Ann. I pick up books at garage sales. I buy them in bulk. I don't even remember which garage sale this came from or what I paid for them, but I don't pay much. Um, I sold these really fast for $20 plus shipping. Uh, it's a set of eight. So I don't know. I looked them up. And I just kind of priced them according to what others were selling for. And they sold fast. This Folk Modest Baby Sloth. Okay, so I did a little video on my Instagram. And after I did the video, I was having seller's remorse. Like, I kind of wish I would have kept him because he is so cute. Um, but I took a best offer. Nope, I'm sorry. This sold for full asking price at the 12% um, off of $26.40 plus shipping. But he is really cute. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, definitely go check it out. It's Bolo Buddies. I'm sorry, Bolo underscore Buddies underscore resellers. Okay, I also posted a video on my Instagram about this one. So 
this is major bread and butter, you guys. And I have a video on Happy Meal to toys um, that are bolos, um, items to be on the lookout for that you can get that were Happy Meal toys. Some of them are big bolos. You would be surprised. So go check out that category video. But this little guy, I don't know. I was in one of those moods. I'm like, I'm just going to list it and see if I can sell him. And he sold. He's like a little teeny plush. He's an otter. And uh, he's National Geographic Kids, but it was from McDonald's. And he sold for $6.16 plus shipping. So this little plush toy, they were like all in at about 10 bucks. How crazy is that? So maybe it was just somebody that liked otters. Maybe it's somebody that's looking for the collection. It's not old. It's 2018. So the next item is this little mermaid trading pin. I picked this up at a garage sale probably for 50 cents. And it sold for $18.22 plus shipping. And it's the Little Mermaid Ariel and it's Baby Ariel. The next item is this Warner Brothers Studio jean jacket. This came from a garage sale. I think I paid like a buck or two for it. And I sold this for $17.60. It was 12% off. They bought it at full asking price with the full asking sale price and they paid the shipping. Okay, this is another kind of like, why did I take the time to list this? But I felt like somebody might want it. It's a vintage HMA Nutcracker with six picks. And again, I got great feedback. Sold for $7.92. Oh, nope, I'm sorry. I took a best offer of $6.50 plus shipping. So a lot of you would be like, I'm not wasting my time. And, you know, I made, what, four bucks, five, something like that. Not much, but I only paid like, I think it came with a, a lot of items. So I probably had 50 cents in it, maybe. This, here's another one, carbon paper. Um, I was like, I'm just going to list it. And I picked it up at an estate sale with a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, this is kind of cool. Somebody might use this for like arts and crafts or who knows. But uh, it sold for $10.56 plus shipping. This lot of three leapfrog tag books. I've done really well with uh, leapfrog. I had a whole tote full that I got over the summer in my money pile and I have just been like putting it off. Like it's just been sitting there. I'm like all of my leapfrog stuff going in this tote. And I was like, this is the perfect time to list leapfrog with everybody being locked down in their homes. Kids need stuff to do. Uh, I sold this for $15.84 plus shipping. And I will tell you where Leapfrog does amazing. And that is on Mercari. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I bought like a whole tote of Leapfrog items at a garage sale. I want to say I got the whole tote for like 10 bucks. So I've got pennies in this stuff. And this Betty Boop pen, it is a sexy pen. And... I sold this for $8.80 plus shipping. This came from a garage sale. I think I paid like a quarter for it. So fun little bolos there. Bread and butter. Who loves bread and butter? What do you guys like? The bread and butter videos or the big money bolo videos better? Um, I just want to see what you guys say down below. If you made it to the end, comment. I made it to the end. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.